Hey guys, it's Samantha Studebaker Carl coming at you live from my home in Westfield, Indiana. And in the previous video, we talked about backing up your computer and the importance of doing that so that you can protect your files and um, easily restore your files if you have some kind of major catastrophe with your computer. So in this video, what we're going to talk about is my PC backup. Um, that, this is the service that I recommend for backing up your computer. And if you click the link below the video to just become a customer of my PC backup, this is the page that you're going to land on. And um, so I'm just going to kind of take you on a brief tour. And um, basically, my PC backup is a way for you to back up your computers and uh, protect your files. So when you land here, the first thing that you're going to do is, of course, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put your information in here. and then uh, you're going to create a free a free account um, because when you first get signed up you can sign up for free and you get uh, a small amount of online backup um, provided to you so you can try, try the service out and determine whether or not this is something that you want to use so we're just going to create a little free account here real quick and then we'll click sign up now you could also connect with Facebook it looks like it has that option for you okay let's see here so then it says to go ahead and download the application which you'll want to go ahead and do that now I'm actually not going to do that you on are my now computer just seconds because away I already from backing have up it. your computer and protecting your that. photos okay so what you're gonna do is this is what you're going to see you're going to first of all you're going to go through the process to download the application to your computer and what it will do is it will run automatic backups for you so you'll want to read through that and just follow the steps as it goes as it takes you as it takes you through them okay so now one of the things here let's go ahead and take a look at the upgrade options okay so you have a couple of different options to back up your computer <clears throat> they have the home version which is 75 gigabyte of online storage so that's a significant amount of um, online storage available to you and this version is is very it's very good if you have pictures if you have your personal files if you have you know um, I don't know a couple videos that sort of thing um, 75 gig is quite a bit of space um, particularly if if you're just using it for at-home use now I will kind of clue you in on something uh, um, since I have been with the service and I've been with them for less than six months um, they have already given me two upgrades to my service just for remaining a customer and they've you know added another gig <laughs> here and there so I think I'm up to maybe 77 gigs now um, after signing up you know only a few months ago so just that's kind of an FYI on, on uh, that the I've experienced uh, with my PC backup. So I really like them. Okay, so anyway, the next thing is is that you want to choose a plan. And as you can see right here for $7.95 for your first month, um, you can choose to pay this on a month-to-month -month basis and have it be only $7.95. Now, if you wanted to pay for two years up front, then the monthly price is only $4.95, um, you know, if you divide two years by the, uh, by the total that you would, would pay. Um, so for two years, we'll just add that up, times 24 months. So you'd be looking about $118.80 for two years of service. So a very, very reasonable price to pay to protect all your files. So when I first got started, I just went with the six months up front, which ended up being about $37, I think. Let's see. Maybe I miscalculated. Times six. 
Forty-one seventy. Okay, so about forty to forty-one, forty-two dollars for six months. So, for me, that made sense because I knew I was going to have it more than a month. So, um, I figure I'll just pay for six months up front, and then I, that gives me a little bit of a discount. So, you can do the same thing. Um, then it's going to ask you, of course, for your um, payment details, and that gives you the option to pay with credit card or PayPal, which is pretty cool. And um, and then it just kind of tells you a little bit of what what is included so like right here where I was telling you I automatically get some extra space after I've been with them for a little while it says right here one gig free space added every month so I guess they've added more than uh, two gigs to my to my space because I've been with them since um, what was it June July August September so oh, I probably have three four extra gigs of space on there compared to what I started out with and I'm not even close to using all my space at, the, at this point um, so anyway um, so they get they tell you what's in, included with that and you can just upgrade at any point in time to this additional storage and um, you know makes it real easy to back up your files Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to show you once you have downloaded the product and you've signed up, you know, you've got the service added to your computer, it's going to put a, um, it's going to put a little program on your, on your computer that's going to do some automatic backing up for you. And this will be how you access your account too. So if you, it actually puts a little icon down here on the bottom bar and you may not be able to see this because my bar doesn't look like it's in the video window but uh, you'll be able to see it when it pops up here okay so if you right click on your little my PC backup icon you'll see that it has an option to open up your backup or view your online account settings help center all that kind of stuff so we're gonna go ahead and just open up my PC backup and we'll move that down into our window so we can see it so this is the little app that's going to be on your computer and it's going to um, give you lots of little options so that you can just do an instant backup you can drag and drop files to the um, the location um, it uh, makes it has a restore button so that if you need to restore your files you can um, there's a little sync folder and um, the sync folder is pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't have the total amount of storage on it, but it has like a smaller amount that you can use for maybe files that you want to access frequently from multiple locations or if you want to share them with somebody or something like that. Um, it has a little file that you can go and put some, some files in there and then um, access them from anywhere or give somebody access to them. Um, so it's just a little folder that can do that. Uh, I haven't messed with it too much. Um, I just don't. Uh, I don't have a need for it because everything I do is pretty much at home. So, but you may have stuff that you do from work or wherever. Um, so it has a has a number of different options. It has some different settings that you can adjust to determine uh, what schedule, how frequently you want it to back up your files. Um, so it has scheduling and I have mine just you know go through and back up all my files once a day at 4 in the morning um, it, it gives you the option to choose which files you want to back up regularly and the maximum size of the file um, that you want it to back up on a regular basis so say you have um, you know movies or something on there and you don't need it to back up your movies every single time maybe you only want to do that when you maybe you manu manually want to do it or whatever so you can reduce the size of the file that it automatically backs up um, and then you can choose which file types you don't want to be automatically backed up and um, then it you know gives you an option to update your password and information and using a secure setting and actually it says all data will be transmitted using the secure setting regardless of the selection so I don't even understand why the selection is here but but it is <clears throat> and then it has the power saving options if you're running on a a laptop then obviously you only want it to run at certain times or you you don't maybe you don't want it to run when it's on battery or you know that kind of thing so um, anyway, so that's pretty much it. I'm not sure what this is. Let's see. Read backup. 
Okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know everything. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so that's, you know, that's pretty much the tour of the, of the My PC Backup. I mean, we can go through and I can kind of click on each tab as you can see what they're going to look like. And, uh, you know, but other than that, it's a great service that you can just, you know, have installed on your computer and it'll automatically back up your files for you, um, which is pretty cool. And you can choose which ones you want it to back up. So I thought this was, oh, I guess when I click that backup button, it just starts doing its backup thing. Drag and drop. So right here it says drag and drop. Simply drag and drop files here to back up. So if I just wanted to take this file and stick it here, then it's going to automatically just back that file up. So if you create a new document and you want to save it on there, then all you got to do is just beep, drag it over there and then it, it backs it up. So it's as simple as that. I mean, how, it doesn't take much thought to uh, to do that. And then um, my files, uh, this will open up another window where it will show you all your different files that are backed up on my PC backup. Yeah, I forgot I could show you this, uh, the online space too. Okay, so you can see that, you know, I have, uh, I have documents shared on here. This is just the name of the folder. I chose to name it. Of course, you have your own folders named whatever you want to uh, name them. Let's see here. I thought it was going to open this one. There it goes. Give it a second. Okay. So um, I'm using it to back up my work, you know, right here. So I have these different files on here. And so it, it works just like your computer does. You know, you can access a file pretty much the same way. And it has the file path listed up here as well. Um, okay, so we've got that. So you have the option to view your files. You can choose what devices you want to be able to automatically back up. Um, let's see here. So files, locate device. Let's events. Let's see what that is. Mm, i events. Okay. So list of events allows you to keep up to date with your most recent changes of files and find out your most recently uploaded files. So I don't know. I guess that's something. Um, <laughs> I don't know, in case it's doing something and you want to find out what it's doing, I don't know. I, I'll be honest with you, I haven't really gone through uh, the My PC Backup online site too much. I just installed it, backed up my stuff, and, um, you know, it's pretty much set it and forget it. Uh, unless you just have something really specific that you want to, um, you know, check on then, uh, you know, what purpose do you really have to log into this online space other than when you first get set up? Um, I really don't, so, uh, but it looks like it has some other different options on here. Um, has your computer been lost or stolen? If your computer or laptop has been stolen, you should provide information to the police. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Who will be able to contact the owner of the ISP to determine their location? Huh, interesting. So I guess that uh, maybe you can use this to help locate your computer if, um, you know, because your computer, obviously, if it's wireless and it's connected to the net and you have it set up to automatically back up to My PC Backup, then um, that would be a pretty way, a pretty good way to track it and someone may be able to actually find your computer since you have my PC backup. How cool is that? Um, okay, so uh, yeah, see right here I earned four gigabyte of loyalty space earned. So it's like one gig for every month that uh, my account has been active. And um, obviously if that isn't enough, maybe you have a lot of movies that you want to back up and uh, so maybe you need more than just 75 gig of storage um, then obviously you can do that um, and then it says supercharge your backup let's see what that is oh, okay so you can upgrade to a faster a faster backup so if you have you know a lot of, of 
documents you you need a lot more space then obviously you can do that especially if you want to use this for business or something along that lines you may want it to be significantly faster uh, to get that backup done because uh, one of the things is is it does just like when your computer is scanning for viruses or that kind of thing it does use up a little bit of your um, you know your RAM active memory so that uh, you know if you're trying to do something it may slow you down a little bit when you're busy that's why I always have mine set up to do it at like four o'clock in the morning because I'm generally not on the computer at four in the morning um, so uh, there there's that so anyway um, so you can just kinda view through here and you know it shows you your sync folder shows you your backup files shows your devices you can add another device you want to add your phone on there backup files from your phone or maybe you have a like this is my home computer um, you know I could add my husband's uh, laptop on here if I wanted to um, you know pretty much whatever and let's see so devices sharing let's see what sharing's all about okay so you can share files with other folks um, your bonus space so you can upgrade to get more space it, goodness it connect to a mobile device, share a file, you can tell about <laughs> you know it on Facebook and Twitter, import your email contacts, oh that's something I probably ought to do. Add phone numbers, add a mobile, it has all kinds of uh, stuff in here, I haven't even looked through everything to see what all there is. Um, then you have you know your refer a, a friend um, thing, uh, my referrals, rewards, Let's see what's rewards. Oh, okay. This is my up my additional storage every month. So, um, now with my referrals, if you are seriously thinking about um, referring people to my PC backup, then I would suggest that instead of just referring somebody to them, is that you sign up with the Easy Money method and become an affiliate of my PC backup because then you actually earn money for doing referrals um, versus just referring a friend um, just by sending them. Because see, like right here, now if you if you don't want to, you know, earn extra money, that's fine. You know, nobody is um, going to tell you you have to do that because obviously if you invite a friend just straight here straight from your account you can earn an extra hundred megabyte of free space for each free space for each person that joins so you can get a benefit uh, for referring your friends um, just in general but if you're interested in making that fifty dollars for each person that you refer then get back with me and I'll give you a link to get signed up with the easy money method um, so that is uh, that's pretty much it as far as that goes um, we go through my account this is obviously your account information um, you know tells you some basic stuff on here and um, you know billing your subscription so this tells you what subscription plan you're on I'm on the six month subscription you can change that at any point if you want to um, they do have some other upgrades where you can um, supercharge your backup which just means speeding it up you can get an additional five gig sync folder um, you can get uh, more VIP support this is something I would think would be good for somebody if they have a large business and they need some additional support for their employees to be able to access you know something along that lines um, and then obviously they have different levels of sync folders that uh, so if you have a large amount of data you think that you need to um, be able to sync up then obviously you can do that um, I don't know what this previous versions mm, not really sure oh you can upgrade to hourly backup if you wanted to um, additional license to back up your account to account backup to more than more computers Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So maybe you have to do this um, additional license if you have more than one computer. So, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe you can only add another device if you have this additional license. I'm not really sure. I haven't re researched that too much. Um, okay, then it, there's some... See, you can just see there's a number of different... Oh, I have uh, some automatic video backup, network drive support, 
Hmm. Okay, so you can see there's a bunch of different upgrade options in the back of my PC backup. It's not just, um, you know, the basic thing. You, you can really customize it, it looks like. And then they have this health check. And I don't know what the health check does. Maybe it just checks to make sure that you're, um, if you're having any issues with your backups, maybe it'll list it here. Hmm. I don't know. And then it looks like they have a mobile app that you can download and um, sync files with your, with your, um, you know, your mobile device. So I am thinking that is pretty much it. Other than this little, you know, just you can click on that and it says drag and drop files to upload. So you can do that from your app that's on your computer. Or you can do it straight on the app or on your on the my pc backup website where your account is so hopefully this has been helpful to you i know it's just been kind of a random um you know let's just go check this out and see what it's all about but i know a lot of people are curious about that so i thought i would just go ahead and do kind of a video tour of the my pc backup back office and let you know how it goes so uh what i just clicked on was the uh the support center uh, for my PC backup and it took me to this page so it looks like they've got a lot of different information on here uh, video tutorial tutorials um, this is download must be for the you know it, as they upgrade the software for that billing questions frequently asked questions uh, community so there's probably a forum there um, oh look we can run a speed test on our computer check your backup speed let's see what that does run speed test oh okay so this is basically going to tell us how uh, how our my PC backup compares to other services maybe so let's let's try and see what it does so it's telling us how fast the download and upload speed is and of course this is going to vary you know, depending on your uh, your internet service too but based on my internet service and my PP, my PC backup speed you can see it's uh, it's pretty fast so oh what do my results mean let's see it says I'm running at maximum upload speed tailored our service to be the fastest online storage and doo -doo -doo. okay so <laughs> that was interesting okay well good to know <laughs> uh, so okay competitor number one competitor number two okay well you know I don't know it, it maybe speed is really super important to you maybe you want to run run your backup super fast and get it done and over with if you if you do it for business that may be important to you or if you want to just do it really quick so you can shut your computer off you know obviously um, how fast it is is pretty important when it comes to that kind of thing so that's uh, that's pretty much it for for this video um, you know if you want to use my PC backup it's a great service I've been real happy with it like I said I've been with it since June and this is October and I haven't had any issues with it it's backed up my files regularly and it's super easy to you know add another file or do whatever um, you want to do with it so that's it for this video if this was helpful to you then please like my video and subscribe to my youtube channel for um, updates every time i upload a new video so have a great day